and they're getting knocked as well from ARG. They're coming out of the water like Navy SEALs. Unfortunately, wow! That grenade! Who threw that grenade? Send. Do you take my hand through the flame? Alright, so we got um, Wildcard going down to Novo, it seems, and then we got Loki Esports going to a military base. Uh, Team Totally going over to Lapovka. I'm just trying to fix my mic at the same time because uh, the sound did cut out. Um, and then we've got four silent noobs. Okay, maybe the, si the sound didn't cut out because they were just parachuting. Revenants, without looking at Revenants, SSG, and probably Buzzkill because these are the teams that usually drop there. And there we go. Exactly the same thing. Aztec already getting knocked there from Peralta. And Buzzkill will have to scramble there to try to get the save on Aztec because th uh, before he gets thirsted, Lucky Kid's on his way over. Um, good to see Lucky Kid on a team, but his debut on Buzzkill is not a good one because Peralta does knock him. And he will go for the thirst on both these two members from Buzzkill. Lucky Kid and Aztec will leave Stan and Eric Fry to their own devices. And they, um, Swift has got the back end covered as well um, for any retreat. So Revenant's really dominating this fight already in Yasnaya. My end's um, sometimes <laughs> the dodgy dodgy part. We've got John Black here versus uh, Takashi. Takashi does the drop shot and takes out John Black from the zone fighters. And here comes Yamasayan. Dark Soul and Spasnats already finished off there. John Black. Knocked. We'll get the revive by Yam. Looks like Dave for real um, got knocked there from John Black. Smokey Joe ju takes that juicy in the kill feed. And God getting the revive on Dave for real. So far, Zone Fighters are holding their own against this 3v2 against uh, MFD. Marked for death. John Black peeking that window. They're uh, stalking SSG's compound right now. And uh, Angry's getting peeked there. Snipe taking some tags. Beach gets knocked by Snipe. This could be a warrant push by Lancy Gaming if they have the guts to do it. Um, Sixless does have an off angle and taking shots at Snipe right now. They're going for the push. Snipe has actually got knocked. Saint got knocked by Sixless. I think Sixless is going to save them here. By that knock. Now it's Shadow and Smokey Joe pushing up on um, SSG Beach and Angry. Angry up on the roof. Beach is going to get the heal off, so it's going to be a legit 2v2 here. Angry gets knocked by Shadow, and this is looking grim here for SSG. Lacey Gaming looks like uh, Beach does defend himself from Smokey Joe, and here comes Shadow as well. Beach gets knocked from Shadow. Sixless, the VSS God, he needs to do something here. He's the last one left on SSG. Lacey Gaming knew that they, uh, they had the numbers advantage. And took advantage once they knocked Beach inside that house. Beach is still not thirsted though. He's managed to crawl his way away from line of sight. Shadow was trying to get the flush there. And Sixless still scrambling. Um, he might try to get angry though. He might actually get out of here. I think SSG wants to get out. Um, but there is Squad on me right next to him. Survival on his way over. He heard the vehicle. He's going to try to get Sixless right here. Now, Telly's definitely going for it. He knows that player in that vehicle is in trouble. He's going to go for the for the shots here. Sixless. Can he survive? Telly's four times shots with the Scar L. Randy McRando's even doing it. Everyone's shooting at Angry right now. And Angry did not get... Um, sorry, Sixless did escape that onslaught. And now Squad and Me got in the vehicle. And Ladies and Gaming now turns onto Squad and Me. And they are in huge trouble as well as survival gets knocked out the vehicle. Oh my goodness, this is a bloodbath right now. Lacey Gaming definitely taking out names at the beginning of the map. Already have four kills. Telly's on the rotation with the Darcia. He's getting out of there. They're not gonna they're not gonna try to get uh, into the same vehicle. Got Mocha in Gamely, we got Char Charmarika, we got Rain PUBG. 
Guys, if you just join the chat, if you go over to Gamely, exclamation mark Gamely, um, in the chats, you will go to the link to my um, Gamely live stream, and you get a chance to win $20 USD if you watch it there at the end of the night. And someone already won it, um, Mammy or Mimi won it last time, she already received it. She can confirm that for you. Uh, it is a legit giveaway. We've got Skittles scouting for New England Whalers right now. Um, and had to drive past Squad and Me. I think Winter's on, on his way too. And Squad and Me may be able to laser this guy out as well. No, they didn't even, they don't even touch New England Whalers. Um, they're going to let New and LAG just duke it out, I think. Squad and Me might go in for the third party later on. That's what I'd do. We've got ARGs hearing the rotation MFD. He, Chico going in for the shots here. He's got the three times, six times spray. Oh, Raw Shoot getting tagged up to half health. And Chico's got to be careful. Um, God's on his way over. Will he get the run over? No, God actually just uh, pulled up on the vehicle. Cash, he gets knocked there by Racer from Voltage. Comes God with the smoke grenades. Oh, Kobe! I saw that grenade land into the camera. Into God's um, face. And just explodes. And gets the knock and finish on God. Great grenade by um, Chico. Uh, God actually threw a smoke grenade. He sh he, if he had a um, grenade, it would have probably been better off. But uh, Cashy getting knocked there. Bishop trying to save him here with the smokes. As you can see, high level gameplay with the smoke grenades there. It is essential for um, for the uh, end game, es essentially. Uh, New England Whalers are uh, swimming, it seems. Um, Skittles already being finished. And then we got Winters swimming and getting pot shotted from uh, LAG from the, the bridge. He's got to pop up for some air. But he might get thirsted here in the water. And he does by Snipe with the M16. Um, Dabs is already out of there. Exclusive um, on their way over as well. She's swimming. And she's just far enough where they can't really clip her. Let's go to final push here. Hendrix is ready knocked. We got Pyrex taking shots at the Wonder Boys. Trigger is getting flushed here. By Pyrex to each other. This could be a very quick encounter. Sam already knocked there. Um, here comes Raven. This is a very odd fight. Sam's going to be revived by Raven, hopefully, there. Uh, Team Totally, Richie in the middle of the field. I think he got knocked off out of his buggy. Using these buggy for cover for now. They could blow it up to finish him off. But here comes the rest of HH uh, on his way over. No, he's actually rotating out. He's going to leave Richie behind. And Kraken, where's Kraken at? He's he's uh, breached a building. He's got a, his own bike. And Enigma will uh, probably be scouting there. Uh, HH decided to take the hill near military base. And we've got Buzzkill and uh, Squad of Me now. On each other right now. Eric Fry getting knocked there. Uh, it looked like it was downtown from Wildcard. Uh, they're 30 parting this fight against Squad of Me and Buzzkill. Buzzkill were the winners of Season 7 of the WGPL. So, coming in from the blue, this could be very bad for him. There's lots of players up on the hill. Wildcard takes a knock on Randy McRando. And uh, here goes the push. We've got ARG swimming over. The Look at this circle. Look how troll this circle is. New. Looks like Exclusive the only one that's in the circle right now. Uh, J7 trying to escape the, the shots from Fagazi. Um, and Fagazi taking shots at Sixers as he rotates past in the blue. Lucky Kid's over there as well. Let's see if Lucky Kid sees him. Lucky Kid uh, decides not to shoot because Wildcard is up on that hill, gatekeeping all the teams trying to work their way in. Sixless, however, his vehicle's on fire, but he snakes his way in like the, the snake he is. Great job there by Sixless. Number one snake in NA. You go exclusive taking shot getting shot at Sam um, taking some pot shots at exclusive and dabs Jagger's there as well he's gonna try to throw some grenades he's got the bandages applied he does have he's trying to save his first aid kits for uh for closer engagements Wildcard with five kills now they've got a good position on the edge and let's go over to Revenants and Tribe Gaming. They're going at it in the center of zone. Lucifer at the tree. Taking shots at Swift from the shed. Peralta's ready knocked. Seager throwing some Molotovs 
at the door so Swift can't escape. Smokes do go up. We've got Voltage coming in as well from the south southwest side. Uh, Seagut and Outsider pushing together. They do see Voltage up in the distance. Seagut's exposed there on this side of the building. He's got to get inside before he gets shot by Voltage. Outsider trying to rush in. He's going to try to get into the shed here. Push up and try to clear the Revenant squad. And he gets knocked. And there goes the finish by um, Lucifer. No, Seagut gets those finishes. Slump from low key. Sees the Team Totally in front of him. Misses the headshot on HH. And it looks like Gabby's on their way over. Wildcard rotating now with uh, a three man vehicle. Alucard's left behind to snipe and uh, keep Overwatch. But I think he got into the car too late, so they're going to leave him. Pittsburgh Knights only lost J7 so far. They have a three man squad. They're also rotating, and this is going to be a hectic little circle here. ARG, Pittsburgh Knights, Tribe in the center of it all. Team Totelli's there as well. Memo taking some shots at Pittsburgh Knights rotation on the shore. Sam's knocked. Jagger getting tagged. Raven trying to duck for cover. Seagut gets Colleen from Voltage. And now they're pushing up. Seagut pushing up on the hill. Memo taking shots at PME3 from Voltage. He might not make it in. He does though. Racer snaking in it already. Wildcard. Alucard is out. Team Totality. Two players left. Snaking it as well. Everyone's going to be snaking this last circle. Pittsburgh Knights is yet to get in there. They've got three players. They're trying their best to smoke their way in. And they're getting knocked as well from ARG. They're coming out of the water like Navy Seals. Unfortunately, wow! That grenade! Who threw that grenade? It killed pretty much everyone there from Pittsburgh Knights. Looks like Chico... Sam... Grenaded? Jagger? Rip? Alright, that might have been an accident. Might have rebounded or something. Or he might have got shot while he had a grenade in his hand. I don't know what happened there, but Pittsburgh Nice got eliminated by a grenade that I thought was thrown by another team. But it was actually Sam's. And for Gazing getting pot shot now by Slump um, with the M4. Rump is also on an angle with them as well. And Wildcard might have been eliminated there on the shoreline. I think they did. Let's have a look where they are. And yet they are not in the map. There's Tribe. Got Team Totally, Wonder Boys, ARG, Loki Esports has a full team. Ah, it's just a spawn, bro. And there we go. We got Cashy finished off. Bishop um, healing outside the zone. He's just trying to get placement points and using up his heals. He's got one uh, first aid and one med kit to go. I don't think he has time to get the full med kit off at any point. Now we've got uh, Loki Esports. Now it is a 4v4. Uh, slump is first one down. That's going to allow uh, Tribe to push now. And uh, Romp nearly got um, wiped with that grenade. Slump definitely got finished off. Give it a memo. He's snaking it up. It's a 4v3 situation. Loki Esports and Tribe Gaming making their way to the final circle. He got probably has a good angle there on Romp and Caitlyn. Uh, looks like Gabby got eliminated. Caitlyn and Romp. Have to do something huge here. 2v4 situation. They do have smoke cover. Tribe definitely has the numbers and the elevated position. And there we go. Romp getting knocked there by Outsider. And Outsider and Caitlyn. Outsider takes out both Romp and Caitlyn at the end. And Tribe Gaming will win the first map for week two. Um, that will help them in their standings. Because the top three get the prize money of $1,500 USD. A share of that pool. And the top, uh, I think $100 goes to the top Fraggers team outside the top three. So, great job for uh, Tribe Gaming. They come out with massive kill points. 16 kills there for Tribe Gaming. We've got Loki Esports with 7 kills. Team Totality with 1 kill but 3rd place.